Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of our beautiful, beautiful transportation company in Transport Fever 2. Well, last episode, guys, we built this. We built our very own distribution hub right now, which is probably going to be the first of many. It's big, it's huge, and what it does right now, it brings food from Kansas, the machines from Detroit, and pretty much drops them off and distributes them between two platforms. And then we have two trains, one going to Washington, and one going all the way to New York right now, feeding these cities with the goods to make them grow. And since doing that, New York has had a huge growth spurt. And I can only assume Washington is going through the same. And it's now linked up, <clears throat> as I slowly choke on my words, uh, the big corridor here uh, through the mountains as an underground tunnel. We're utilizing our little junction right now. And things are rocking and rolling. We're making more money than we've ever made before. Uh, right now we we kind of reach peaks of 44.8 million coming in that is a lot that is a lot well today we're going to continue we've uh, we've set this up to where eventually we're going to have an airport on this now the airport won't be worth it until i have a destination to fly to and what i eventually want to do is have an airport over here somewhere so let's say for example i chose either here or here it doesn't really matter where it is so let's say i chose here i could build another distribution hub for all the trains and all the cargo and the vehicles but then an airport to get to it and that's how we get the goods between the two distribution areas flown over across the country a whole lot quicker but that's going to be expensive i need to get the cities all hooked up and running before i can do any of that so what i want to focus on today then is continuing the expansions and extensions of the passenger line we currently have a cell where it goes from Boston to New York to Washington to Charlotte. Well, today, we're going to get it to then split, go to Savannah, to Tampa, to Miami, and then have this one go to Atlanta, straight down to New Orleans, and then we're going to try and figure out some uh, connections for Panama City and Nashville, uh, which is going to be quite interesting. So we'll focus first on the Florida passenger route. So as always, guys, if you do enjoy this, please smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But today, we're going to cause a lot of destruction <clears throat> to create a lot of progression. So, we're going to first pause the game. Now, I've got quite a bit of money in the bank right now, so I can have the game completely paused. And I don't feel like I need to worry about money as I build these new routes. We're going to start in Miami, and we're going to start by building like an end station. Now, what's going to be quite important is having the ability set up where this train station could connect, right, to a harbor. So we could eventually then passenger or transport passengers and cargo to the Bahamas, to Havana. We have the Turks Islands over there. Is there any more down here? I know we have the Bermuda over there, but I think that might be a little bit too far out at the moment. Um, so... It will be a good transition to get these little kind of countries down here connected up in the Caribbean. Uh, so this is the problem I've got is you need to get the train station connected as close as you can. But looking at Miami, it looks like spaghetti's dropped on a plate when it comes to their road networks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a few things, right? Now, I have to delete it, but eventually it will grow back. Don't worry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work towards this road here where the end station kind of sit is situated. Meaning I've got to delete a lot of stuff, which is going to cost me an absolute fortune. But there's a good reason behind it. Okay, there is a good reason behind it. One, it will eventually grow back. Uh, and it will, the city will grow bigger than what it is right now. So that's something that we kind of need to be wary of. But two, in the long run, it's going to work out fairly well for us. Now, it's a lot of deletings. I'm probably just half the size of Miami right now. And they're not going to like this. But it's got to be done. They need some organization thrown in this. So building-wise, then, we're going to go for an end platform. We go for the long one. And again, another good reason why... I'm do you want to go for the long one? Do you know, I'll, go, I'll go 240. No, we'll go 160. I'll go 160 just because I wouldn't normally do it like this because I'd normally kind of go for the long ones. Just because the, the way that we now have to approach the connections. We'll do this end station a little bit shorter than normal. So place that in. We'll come back to that in just a moment. And then I need one tearing through St. Petersburg slash Tampa. 
Now, this one should be fairly easy. The way it's all situated right now, I'm going to use this road here to kind of connect to. Now, I know I cause a lot of destruction and chaos, but it kind of all has to go, unfortunately. And here we're just going to do a normal uh, station. Now, it, I'll eventually get it all situated where it's passenger. How big are the stations that I put in the other cities? Are they this long as well? Do you know what? What's hilarious is, in those cities, this station looks way too big. But in the other cities I've already built it, it looks way too small. So I think that what, what that shows me is, I, I can actually go the full length. I don't need to worry. Because the city will eventually build itself around it when they become huge mega hubs. Which then makes me wonder then, do I just do the same to this? Hmm. Because I can also have buildings going on the side as well to create greater connections. Do you know what, guys? I'm pushing the boat out. We're going big styly, okay? Big styly right now. But also, something else I need to do as well, I need to split the platforms for cargo and passenger. So it also makes sense that I kind of go quite large as well. Right, there we go. We'll start with these two. We'll work up to here, and then we'll bring it all the way up to Savannah, and then connect it to Charlotte. And that will be our first one we get up and running. So the great thing is, right, this is now close enough that if I ever did build a harbour... So you can see the train station, the platforms go white. That means then we we can place a harbour down and there's a connection. So passengers will go to here and then walk and then get on the boats. That's important. That's why I needed it kind of so close. So let's set this, uh, this platform, this train station now up then. So... There's a few things we got, got to pretty much configure on it. Uh, first things first, then, is kind of deleting half of the platform. And we'll go... Do you know what? We'll go to there. Half of the platform, so it can become cargo. But then again, I could just also just place it on this side and do a double layer for the train tracks. Because it, it's an end station. It's not treated like a normal station. So do you know what? Let's do that instead. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Will he ever make a real decision in his life? I have no idea. I do need to upgrade the train tracks though. Because uh, the current ones we've got there are not the ones... Can I upgrade... No, you can't upgrade. I don't know if you can... how you upgrade the station. Could I have placed it down with these train tracks? I have no idea. Right, let's get all this set up. Platforms, we'll go cargo here, then on this side instead. There we go, there we go. And then cargo buildings. We'll go. We'll actually go quite reasonable. And we'll do a smallish building here. We'll do a smallish building just there. And then we'll do a small passenger building just here. If I delete actually this and put a passenger platform, not only can I reduce the passenger building but in miscellaneous i can do the little things where they go underground to get from one side to the other which makes it a little bit easier that's what we'll do just there so then passenger buildings on this side we'll do a couple again now it's important that we do this because we have to kind of make sure the road goes around it uh, to be able to connect to it buildings then build alongside the train tracks and we have multiple access points now, do I make it go underground to create the connection like how we do over here? Because it allows us to create this little passage through, which allows the traffic to kind of navigate around. Which is a, a whole lot easier. I feel like it's something that we should always try and think about doing. But at times, I don't agree with the length in which we do it. So, you can see the, the size differences coming into play. I could terraform that, which is not a problem. But I knew, do know a 70... Was it a 71 is the best way to kind of look at it? And then flip this all the way around. That's us hoping that it is now connected. No, it's not connected. What is going on, Saniac? Yeah? Yes. Perfection. So that allows me to put a road through there, which is good. So no dramas, no issues. Now, what I'm going to do right now is, again, so counterintuitive, but I'm going to delete so much more stuff. Don't be afraid to delete, you know, parts of the city, guys, okay? Because it will eventually grow back, okay? This is your only chance right now 
to kind of mold how a city is going to uh, to look. This is your only chance to do so. So take this moment to configure it. Uh, right, so roads then. We'll go for uh, a normal style, style of road here. And if I cancel that, if I kind of go across here, trying to get the right... So all three of those buildings now connect. And I'll go straight in. Same for here. All three of those buildings now connect. And we'll go straight down to there. I could kind of also put a slight bend on it. There we go. So roads running down, which keep this all centralized. And then if I get to about here... And I get to about keeping the snapping like that. To there, to there. Okay, a little bit too soon, maybe. All right, we'll, we'll just work through the middle. Go to there, connect you in. So now we have this long rectangle. Yes, it's a long rectangle. Miami will bounce back, don't worry. I could bring this in to create even more connections. No dramas, mate, no dramas. But I've, I'm molding Miami right now. I'm molding Miami. So I don't know whether to kind of delete you to delete you. I know it's 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 so much deleting right now. But just to set the city up with some main routes. And then just let it go crazy and let it build itself up. So I've molded Miami right now into being a huge, huge hub right now to transition from, from land to sea. But also we've situated the train station perfectly. Uh, for the roots, which is pretty good So this one's a lot easier. Let's edit this one configure the station on now. I've got to do cargo both sides That's just how it is Okay, we're gonna treat this the same as any of the other stations we created previously So we're gonna first start with the train tracks and we're gonna need four lines Because obviously one's the bypassing route or the two in the middle of the bypassing route And then we have the two either side for the platforms that's pretty much how we treat it. There we go. There we go. So then if I go ahead and delete half of the platform. How much is here to delete? What's going on? Oh, I can't delete too much because... Of where the building's situated. But that works there. That didn't kind of work there, did it? There we go. And then the platform itself for the passenger. We then need the miscellaneous section where they can kind of go underneath. And then we just got to set up then the passenger building. So... Actually, how big is the cargo building going to stick out? I mean, I could just put it there, which is completely fine. And then passenger building, put this one right there. So you could add additional in. Kind of slightly bulk it up. So I place that one there and then this one here. And it should be okay. I mean, cargo buildings don't really need any additional, but I'm just going to do it both sides. Kind of, like I said, really bulk it up. Delete this road, delete that road. And then just now sort out where the roads are actually going to run. So that there is perfect. Uh, we'll have that connection coming up just here. We'll do another connection just here. And I can see us needing the connection just there. So we, we actually need to as well do the the tunnel set the things. The tunnel things. <laughs> the tunnel ramps. To allow us. So number of tracks on this is now four. To do the crisscross for the city. So that would go there. Spin this right round. Alright, there's it. That's one. Two. Is that it? Perfect! Oh, I'm just too good at times. I'm just too good at times. I've now figured out the little system you got to go through. So, one, two, three, four... Perfect. So, mo mo more importantly, it allows me to create the crossover to bring that down. So, I'll just let the city naturally build 
itself up and do what it's got to do. But at least vehicles can cross from one side to the other. Pedestrians can cross a lot easier, quicker than vehicles, because they just walk through um, the actual train station itself. Now, it would be ideal to kind of get this running down, as opposed to this. And that is St. Petersburg slash Temper. I've destroyed it so much, but it's going to work out in the long run. Okay, so, now then, I've got to sort out the train connections. So, bringing this out to here, bringing that out. i got to upgrade the train tracks in there as well. Right, as soon as I can, I'm going to bring this in. There we go. I'll bring it out a bit more. And then, as soon as we can, we do the old crisscross. What's going on here, boys? Too much of a slope? What's going on? How dare you? Right there. Wait, what's going on here? How is there too much of a slope? I mean, there is a little bit of a slope, but it's not that bad. Right, if I do it short, then. Right, the crisscross happened a lot shorter. So, this is now the same. It's the difference with this one. Is. I haven't got to do four lanes of it. So, I just do a little crisscross. I'm having the same issue here right now with this slope. Okay, that is that is a bit of a slope. <laughs> right, we get to there. Still too much of a slope. Wow. That's the only downside to building those tunnels short. That's the downside to it. But the upside is you get to have your city connection crossing. Happen a whole lot easier. All right, double check it's on the right side. Yep. Yeah. Bam. Bringing this in. Bam. So we've obviously, apart from doing the signals, that is then set up. That is then good to go. So I've got passenger and cargo. Whether or not I bring cargo here is a completely different story, but I've got passenger and I've got cargo connections readily available um, for Miami and uh, St. Petersburg slash Tampa. So now, I've got to do the same over here, which for Savannah right now, we're going to just literally run it along this road. Meaning I will need to delete these roads for my connections. So, the same again. There's nothing different to what I'm doing now to what I've done already. So, build this here. I'm gonna it, should I put it right on the, on the Chrissy Cross? Yes. Let's do it right there. So, we should be able to tear through this one now. We've kind of got the feel for what we're actually doing. So we'll delete a couple of platforms. For cargo on that one side. Do you know what I didn't look at when I built this train station? Whether or not I can do the high speed rail. Right, hang on. We'll do tracks first. Just so I know how far out I'm sticking this out by. Alright. There we go. And then platform to the passenger. Cargo. There we go. And then the miscellaneous, which is the underpass. Very nice. Can I squeeze a small little cargo building in? We'll do one either side. Why not? Uh, passenger building. Let's squeeze a, a small one just there. Squeeze another one just there. And we'll kind of just slightly redo that road. So, passenger building, passenger building, passenger building, just because, you know, to keep up with the same stuff, cargo buildings as well. So, that station is good to go, pretty much. I'm just missing right now the uh, the underpass. Oh, I missed that one there. Right, too much of a slope, so we'll make this one a little bit longer. We'll get away with that. Right, spin this right round to there. So, right, I think that's it. Yes. So good. He is too damn good at doing this at this point. 
Right, one, two, three, four, and that is then done. Right, great. So that's all up and running then. That's actually quite glorious. Okay. So we got to think about how we do the connections as well with, as we split the train tracks. And that's something else we got to think about. Whether I just do a V or a Y, like a triangle connection, I'm not too sure, or even just kind of end it with a T. These are decisions I'm going to have to make momentarily, but... Oh, look at that. So because we made it longer, that slope is completely off right now, so... I've got to bring this to the same height as that train track in reality, because if I brought this out... That's proper digging into it, isn't it? So bringing it up to there. That to there. Merge that in. Merge that one in. So get this a little bit further down. I'll do the crisscross here. Hoping it, it's okay on the slope. Yep. And then did I do it on this side? I haven't done one on this side, have I? So this is a bit more of the opposite. This is the slopes too high. Right, we'll sort out that water feature just there in just a moment. Um, bringing you in, bringing you in. Just moving all that. A little bit further out. The crisscross should now be no issues. Apparently it is. What slope? What slope? <laughs> oh my goodness me. They're pushing my buttons today, guys. Too much of a slope. Right, we're going to do it a smaller one. There we go. No one can play now, can they? So now we've got to get this connected down to here. Make sure it's on that one. The bend should be quite fair. I've done it quite long. It's going to kind of carve in quite a bit. But if I ever bring road or highways down here, uh, they can pass over the train network because it's kind of carved directly in. I don't mind spending that extra money because it could work out for us in the long run. And it keeps the elevation the same level throughout the whole train track. So that's then done. So we can run trains from Miami to St. Petersburg straight up to Savannah right now, which is beautiful. Now what's cool is, I can probably see me running a train line from St. Petersburg to Panama City. I can do a little bit of a V just there, or just kind of completely come off it and skadoodle up this way. It's this connection I've got to think of now. So if I went from Charlotte... Well, actually, let me first kind of complete the Charlotte connection. Because this in itself is going to be quite hilarious to get done. With the, the slope and the bend and all the rigmarole that now come, gets involved with setting this up. So bringing this in... Glorious in glorious crisscross there, crisscross there. Oh, no issues. Okay, fine, fine. So, I could literally just run this directly into Savannah right now, and then on that bend, I could do a little bit of a V that will then take us into Atlanta. Now, Atlanta, I've got to decide if I'm going this way through it. Or that way through it. Now going this way means I could do a connection to Nashville. But the route's coming down there. So ideally I want to go this way through Atlanta. Maybe go down to Panama. Or this way in. I have to do some type of wiggle. There's a little V connection there. To have the connection. To Nashville. As it goes straight down. Because this is what I've got to think of my route right now. So I'm definitely going to have a new route. It goes from Charlotte, Savannah, St. Petersburg, and Miami. Try and keep to four cities at once on a train connection. I can then probably see me utilizing New Orleans as a going this way across. Stacked hub. Where the route from Nashville, which is probably going to come down from Montreal, Toronto, Detroit, to Nashville. Which I could end it in New Orleans. There's actually five cities on that one. I could end it in there. I could then do a bypassing route that goes from uh, St. Petersburg into Panama. That goes into New Orleans. So I can do a small little kind of commuter route just there. And that's coming down. And then it's a case of Charlotte to Atlanta. Which I could make it go through Panama. 
to run alongside. Hmm. It's awkwardly placed, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm trying to do it with, with building the, you know, the least amount of train tracks as possible. That's what I'm trying to think of right now. The least amount of train tracks possible. And Atlanta's going to be a big city as well. <clears throat> and it's got a couple of uh, industries around it, which would be quite important for us. So, okay, so that's going to run into there. I did a V. That could run into there. Run down to New Orleans. I just got... This is just going to be so annoying. Right, anyway. <clears throat> we'll run this. Oh, hold on. I haven't even created this one yet. Right, let's sort this out real quick. Right, I've also got to sort out all those um, tunnels as well. Right, do you reckon I could do it here? Yes. That was kind of cool. Right, there to there. It's creating a tunnel, which I don't really want it to do. So I'll have to do this... <coughs> myself as I choke. Alright, so run this up to there. To there. See, that doesn't seem as bad now, does it? We should get that little straight bit there, which I could V off this. I think it doesn't need to V. Am I going to be taking people from Savannah to Atlanta? Because they can just kind of come up to Charlotte and then go back that way. Which makes more sense. So I can just kind of, yeah, V off it. Down to Atlanta. Which could go to Nashville. And then maybe go somewhere else. It hasn't got to run all the way down to New Orleans. This could run to Charlotte, into Atlanta, into Nashville. And then go, I don't know. Utilize it to kind of be able to go somewhere else. So, it has, I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm just kind of making or giving myself a slight headache, aren't I? So, for now, that's done. Right, forget everything else right now. That's now done. So, what I'm going to do? Let me make sure I'm running on the on the right side of the train tracks. Yeah. So then we go bam, bam. The crisscross is just here. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. <clears throat> uh, bam, bam. Alright, try and get as much of this set up as I can. Do you see how spaced out I did those uh, signals, guys? <laughs> are you happy yet? I mean, uh, no, you're never going to be happy with my signals, are you? Look at those signal spacings, guys. I've come a long way since I... Uh, Put my first load. <laughs> don't even go there, okay? Don't even go there. Right. Doing it here and then just after. And then... Bam, bam. And that will be it in reality because there's no crisscross after this, is there? <coughs> Especially not for the station because you either come in one way and go out the other. So yeah, you leave it as that. It's the end platform. So, that's now pretty much good to go. I can build my trains, and they're going to be good to go. Now, my train depot is all the way over here. I could also pull out the passenger trains from over here. It's a long way for them to travel. <laughs> but, you know, it's one way to do it. Let me create a new route on this. So, it will start in Charlotte. Uh, passenger line, there we go. It will go to Savannah, go to... St. Peter, go to Miami, back to St. Peter, uh, back to Charlotte, and then end just there. Easy enough, right? Easy enough. So making sure it does the right stuff, then it, so it splits and goes down. <coughs> so when it gets to Savannah here, we need to make sure it uses the other platform. So it splits there, perfect. Going straight through. Make sure it does the same thing over here. Splits and uses the other platform. Gets down to here. It doesn't really matter what platform it uses here. But I reckon on the Miami one, I get it to use platform one. Flip it over. Straight connection going in. 
Fair enough. And I've made it use the opposite platform over here to my current passenger route. So if the off chance that both trains enter the station at once, uh, they can they can both go in there. No, the other one doesn't have to wait for the other. So that's pretty much done. It's it's purely passenger route based. So I haven't got to do much else with it. And we'll set up one train for it now. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to buy it over here. It's, it is quite a long way away. But I could go diesel. That is 117 miles an hour. I mean, my passenger carriages, what's the best one? <clears throat> oh, 112. Right. <laughs> okay, hello, hello. I've got the money. Why not spend it? So it's going to cost me a million a year to, 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 to maintain. That route's going to be really, really quiet for now. I mean, I could just go diesel and, like, to hell with it, but electric's always, always a good one, but diesel, I'm going to go for that one. Passenger. <sighs> now, even though this is, a, like, a newer variation, this, this one there is more to maintain a year. It can go a little bit quicker. It does carry one more person, so. Right, add a couple of these. Let's go to 133 capacity. 21 million that train just cost me. And uh, where's that route? It's that pink route there. Which is going to be classed as line 13. So we'll only go for one train on it now. Which in reality I can put it to play mode. Now because it's all the way over there, there's going to be no issues with bringing it over. <clears throat> and I've really destroyed these cities. But what I could do now is just to kind of create... Just two routes with vehicles. Hang on, I need to um, vehicle. I need a, the buildings, the da, 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 unload point. So if I drop this off here, and then do one that dropped off here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two vehicle runs to go there and there back. Let's go there and there back. Which are going to drop off the food here to start feeding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Miami. To get them back to their former glory. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I've got these new routes. I'm just going to construct this to extend it a bit. I'm going to add an, an extra extension on the one side. And in my new routes then. So, line 14, Miami Beach here. We'll make it go into number 3. And line 15 will make it go... Oh, hang on, I need one more. Uh, roots, roots, roots. Line 15. Number 4. So it splits those um, platforms up. This is getting consistent food. It should now level up and we should get a little bit more load coming in. Let me just upgrade the vehicles on here, if it's possible. So... All vehicles here. Can I replace them with any current cargo vehicles? So we've currently got these ones on. These model Ford Model 77s, which carry 8. I can now go up to 14. 16, but that one can't carry the right one. Uh, so that pretty almost doubles the, uh, the amount of cargo each one can carry. So replace all of them. Right. And I'm going to buy some more vehicles. So I get this one out because it's food. So we'll buy two of these puppies actually we'll buy i'll buy six put the first three on line 14 and the other three on line 15. so that will then carry the food that this factory then produces to them two cities that i've really destroyed and at least get these kind of slowly built back up again that's what we're gonna do savannah you, you have to like suck it up for a bit <laughs> okay um Right, that train then. Is this the train here? This is No, that's not the train. Has, has that train come through yet? This is it here, the passenger train. Right. So while it does that then, while it does that, we are going to need to do some upgrades to the train network slightly. So train tracks, the upgrade. How do I upgrade the ones on here? That's the question. Do they... I mean, they're not blue. How does that work, then? I don't quite know. How that kind of works. But I've got to go through and do a lot of upgrades. 
as time goes on. Lots of upgrades. So I'll just do a couple here for now. I'll probably do a lot of this off camera, so which will be a lot easier for me to get done. But let's do a couple for now. I don't really know about those, the tunnel sections, so I kind of have to kind of revisit that and see what's going down with it all. But uh, my big boy train, it's currently going slow because it's waiting for the signals for the other train in front of it to kind of skadoodle through before it can pick up a little bit of speed. But this is good. So uh, we, <laughs> we now have a passenger line going straight down to Miami. Which my other passenger route is going to be start to become quite busy. Because we're going to have a lot of people who now want to go from Boston to Miami. So we're going to see a lot more demand of people now moving. So I've really hurt Miami right now. I've, I've literally made it worse than what it first was when we started the game. Uh, St. Petersburg. Same for that as well. The population's never been so low. Uh, what about Savannah? I think that this one didn't get hurt as much. But <laughs> I have to do this for them to grow to what they're going to eventually become. There's already people waiting at the uh, platforms anyway. We'll now be getting food delivered to them. Okay, they didn't really deliver any food there. What's going on, boy? What's going on? What's going on, Mr. Factory? We've got to get those numbers up slightly, don't we? Got to get those numbers slightly up. So we should see some some big changes. Oh, there you go. They're starting to build buildings right now. I mean, one got deleted, but building new buildings. Oh no, that upgraded to a new style of building. So it's it's happening very slowly. Um, right. So where's my train? Here we go. My train to Miami, boys, is now underway. So that's going to be very very expensive to run and maintain. So hopefully in the long run it will, the, you know, it will, it will pay off for us. Hopefully in the long run. Now this is my next kind of uh, goal then. So I want to create either New Orleans or probably Houston. Now I'll do it to New Orleans as being the end route for a couple of lines before then they transition over to new routes as they go into the middle of the United States. So, to bring trains down here, I'm going to have the route up here from Montreal to go straight down to Toronto, into Detroit, utilizing some of these existing train lines, to then go all the way down to Nashville, which will then end up in New Orleans. Now, I can have a route from New Orleans that will go to Panama, which can go straight into uh, St. Petersburg here, so a shortcut route just there, which wouldn't be too bad. How I'm fitting Atlanta in all of this, I do not know. Chicago, that's going to be an interesting one. Because I can have a route come from Minneapolis down into Chicago, which could then... But then I've also got St. Um, uh, St. Petersburg, uh, Pittsburgh over here. So I could then maybe have that route run for there, but I don't know how I'm going to do the transition for all these. Some of them won't be connected to the train line, let's just be honest. But uh, where's that train anyway? That train is... Where is that train? Am I blind? Oh, it's already made it down to Miami! So in terms of finances then, it's already generated 1.3 million. That's interesting. So it's got quite a few people on board right now. I don't think it'll ever reach its max speed. Because the, the distances are a little bit too short at the moment. But how much does it make here? So it stops here. 300,000. Not too bad. There's an increased loading speed as well. So Savannah's a little bit further. <coughs> but you make the most money when it goes over to, um, to Charlotte. Because it would have transitioned a lot of people from Miami. Who want to go to, let's say, New York. But have to obviously transition um, in Charlotte. So it's doing 59 miles an hour. 60 miles an hour. 61, 63, 4, ooh, he almost got up to 70 before he had to stop. So here, 700,000, 
So we're, we're, we're in technically in profit for this current year. But then... It's, it's going to make even more money over here. Hopefully. Technically it should. Because it would have um, bought people from Miami. So we'll just wait for this little waiting game as it makes its way over now. Any moment now, sir. Any moment now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So, all the way over here. 3.9 million. <laughs> it's made 5 million today alone. And again, it'll do the same thing again right now. Transition a lot of people back down to Miami. But a lot of people really got off that want to go on the other route heading north. So you can see how Line 7 now gets a huge increase in, in people. Because of this transition from one side of the platform to the other. So, these trains over here, I might need to bulk these guys up. <laughs> Manage the vehicle. I'm going to replace both of these. So, replace both of these. We'll go diesel. We'll do the exact same train. Passenger wagons, exact same wagons. And we'll make these carry also 133, which can cost me 42 million uh, to pretty much do so. So, I replace them. <clears throat> And that train is now there, so it will be a lot quicker. But it will also be able to carry a lot more people. And that's also quite important as well. So this train's coming in, which it should be fully loaded when it goes back. So in it comes. 3.1 milli, and it should go back fully loaded. So unloading everybody, loading them back up. And 133, and there's still 13 people remaining. So that line also has two trains on as well. That's something else that we have to kind of remember. But uh, not bad. Not bad. That is a beautiful extension of a train line. So is Miami... Miami starting to grow big time. Uh, charts. Okay, that's going to bounce back and be even bigger than it was before. But I've perfectly got the uh, train station situated in the middle. So that's pretty good for it. Um, St. Petersburg slash Tampa. Charts. Oh no, I'm on the train station, aren't I? <laughs> Charts. That's bouncing back quite dramatically as well. So it's helping. It's definitely helping with the food and stuff like that. This will eventually hopefully level up as more transport does come into it. And then Savannah over here is... is yeah, this, okay, this place is better than it's ever done before. That one was the one I, I least destroyed. So that's good to see. That's real good to see. <clears throat> All the other cities over here should have a like, slight increase as well. Seeing as we're now technically extended and connected a whole lot further. So we should be turning we should be having big profit months uh, years again. So whereas before, previously our big year was 44.8. Our previous year we 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 made a revenue of 48.6 million. Obviously big spikes here cuz that's when we spent the money. But we're making more money than ever, boys. Oh, and now we've got new... <laughs> new carriages for our vehicles. Okay. This is changing up slightly. This is changing up slightly. So, let me get to my lines. Because now it might be a good idea to take a look at some of my routes. So, let's keep it in this view. we got our coal to Pittsburgh. And I... I've only got one of these. I've, I've got another one over here, don't I? Is this the, also the coal to Pittsburgh? Yes. We should copy that because I've still got to go through and rename them all. So that line nine, which is also coal to Pittsburgh, which will be technically number two. There we go. Uh, both of those lines, coal to Pittsburgh. Can I manage the vehicles on them? Both of those vehicles there, we're going to replace. <clears throat> and we'll replace them for our diesel engine. And where they currently got like 10 odd carriages or whatever it is. Cargo. It needs to carry coal. Which would be a gondola. So the previous gondola carried 12. These ones now carry 18. So 162 capacity. Sounds, sounds good enough for me. <clears throat> 
Replace those so even more coal will now be delivered. Glorious. Um, back to the lines. So we've upgraded those. Oh, line one here, which will be one of my food ones, which is the one up here in like near New York. It's going to Boston. Replace all of these vehicles <coughs> for them. Line two. Replace these for this one, which is carrying the food. So that makes these a little bit more juicy. Which I reckon we could also then maybe add a few extra vehicles on this line. So manage the vehicle. No, hold on. Is this the right one? Line one. It is that one. Oh, wait. Oh, there's four. There's already four on there. <clears throat> wait, there's four on there. Line two. Wait, I've got this wrong. What's going on here? Why is there wheat chilling on the platform? Oh, I'm done. I'm so I thought this was the food plant. Sorry, sorry. They're putting the platform then to pick up to drop off here. Sorry, guys. I was having a moment there. We'll now be technically delivering more. So they'll have a consistent flow, but I reckon I do need at least two more vehicles, maybe. Right, okay, so buy vehicles. I was having a serious moment there, guys. Serious moment. Right. I'll actually get four more vehicles. On that route there. To bring more food over to here to produce more. And then we'll come back and add more to it. Right, that's good. Um, line two. So now we've got then these four, three, three, four, and then five, three, four, five, six is what I'm looking at next. So three is my food route. Let me get to manage the vehicles then. So three here is my food route. And that's currently got a box car on. So it would be nice to replace it with a different box car. So this box car here, and give it a capacity of 180. Do you reckon that's worthy for the diesel train on? <clears throat> that's got to be worth it, right? Should we modify that for 15 million? Yes. Line four. Which where's line four? Where's line four? Detroit to Pittsburgh. Oh, is it over here? Detroit. Oh, is it one of these lines? Yes. This is why I need to rename them. This is why I need to rename them. So this train here... Ah, that carries the machines! Of course it does. I'll replace it anyway. I know it doesn't need the capacity just yet, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. One eighty. I know we don't need the capacity because we're not producing enough machines just yet. Then line five and line six; these should be the ones that carry the uh, the stuff from yeah to New York and to Washington. So line five and six. I'm going to replace both of these with said diesel and they also both require so they've been utilizing those box cars because they're carrying food and machines so i'm gonna put their capacity not too high we'll go 90 108 we'll get to 108 not too high because again we're not really bringing the goods over but i'm hoping with the high capacity of stuff we'll slowly be able to do that so line seven, we've done that. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the, the vehicles on it, is what I'm looking at the most. So we've got line eight. Now line eight is Oh, it's one of my ore routes. And we have two trains on that. Okay, replace both of those. We have the, the old diesel, mate, and the cargo. So we need the gondolas for them, don't we? 
180 capacity. That's going to be beastie. Well, I am slowly running out of money to be able to do this. But spending that vast amount of cash is going to be a big help. Big help. We've done... We've got some more vehicles. Where are these vehicles? Oh, that's in Kansas, isn't it? Yeah. The other Pittsburgh or one. Could I potentially replace both of these? To 180? No, I need 30. I need, I need a few more pennies to be able to do that. But it shouldn't be too long before I get them coming in. There we go. Replace both of those. I've got to do these uh, wood routes as well because they're still using steam trains. Right. I'm, I'm terrified to see the money that I've spent. <laughs> the amount of money I've just spent right there. Now, my only downside is this is, are they going to be producing enough for me to carry enough? Because you will get to the point where your trains carry too much that there's not enough left on the platform for them to deliver. So that will become a slight issue at some point. Uh, but this... This still needs a bit more coal. Is that a coal train coming in? No, that's an ore train. But we have increased the amount the coal trains do carry. And I also do need to get this leveled up slightly as well. There's so much product on the platform right now. We, we kind of do need to upgrade one of these trains. So let me find a steam train that is slowly making its way back. Where are they? They're waiting for one another to come out. There's a steam train there. There's a steam train. Do I only have one train on each of these routes? So what to... Oh, I think I might I, I might do. What to Pittsburgh, what to Pittsburgh. All right, select both of these. Replace both of these. So if I was to place these with the diesel. Cargo. Uh, we need wood. wood it, basically, it's this is what we need it to, to carry. So, one, two, three, four, five. So I could do five, six, which is 108 capacity, but I, I need it to be a lot more. All right, there is more money coming in. I'm up to 144. So what do I need for 162? Potentially 180. I need 35.8 million. That's what I need right there, just to kind of call that a day and replace both of those. So I need something to drop off quite a bit of goods. There is a train currently on the way right now with ore, which should be quite a hefty amount of money. Which, bam, just replace both. So those trains right now have been replaced. So this one already left the station before he got replaced. But this can carry so much more right now. So where it could only carry 120, it can now carry an extra 60. This one can be completely loaded up, this train here. But what's more important is, right, when they come back over to here, they can load up so many more planks and so much more steel to deliver to here for this to keep producing more machines. That's, that's what we're looking at over everything. That's what we're looking at over everything. So... In reality, then, we kind of wait for that train to make its way all the way down here to kind of see the, the, the differences in the numbers. Because it only then starts slacking over here, then, where, you know, we're kind of missing out on some goods. So that's picked up 18, because there was more food available. And that's where we have to then start slowly... Eventually, we slowly start adding more and more trains to that, because we've got this distribution hub, which will eventually be distributed to many, many other cities. Right, there's one of the uh, trains coming in. Right, this, is this the one that's fully loaded? No. That's the one that's fully loaded over here. So this is the one that I want to see how much money it makes. And how much good it picks, picks back up. That's the other interesting one as well. So we'll wait for this to come in. I cannot believe how much money I've now spent on upgrading all my trains. But the amount of money I'm going to be making is going to be the most I've ever made. So this train now comes in. 
5.1 million. The most ever made in a single year. That's going back right now with a load of goods. 8 million there for the ore. I feel like those ore trains are going to be a little bit... Um, a bit of an issue. Because they're going to be wiping out a lot of the ore that's available. So this is now making its way over to here. Which you now just got to wait for. Because it, it's, it's ran out of steel. So the fact that we're going to get a big steel delivery in just a moment. Is going to help it producing more of the machines. So the train's just in the distance right now. Because that train there with the machines. has only got six on board. So that's not really doing much is it. 3.4. Four million. Absolutely amazing. So much goods delivered. Ah, oh, it's so good. So yeah, my issue is I can see these platforms eventually running out. That one seems to be okay. That one seems okay, do you know what? Actually, I think they're gonna be okay. I think I've got the right amount of carriages right now on some of these routes. Some still need a little bit more, but I don't think I'll get anything that's got too much. All right, now got 34 machines over here. We're going to get another delivery of steel coming in. There we go. So the production should slowly keep increasing right now. This is only going to be good stuff for us, boys. Only going to be good stuff for us. And we've now leveled up the steel plant as well. It's now just gone into level 2 mode. Damn. So we still need more coal. We need more deliveries anyway in general. More places to deliver. But this is working out. This is definitely working out. We've still got a few lines that we still need to upgrade. But uh, look at the size of Miami right now. This chart is now highest it's ever been. The city is building itself around the train station, which is what I'm loving. The same for St. Petersburg over here. Through the roof, these numbers are. Through the roof. Which is good. Train coming in. Is this train filled up? Yes. I'm going to need a secondary train on this route. I really am. I really am. But revenue wise, our best year to date, we made 97 million. Yo, that's a lot of cash. So there we go. We finally expanded down into Florida and all of our current routes we've now set up to be uh, basically carrying and producing more goods. Next episode, we'll take a look at trying to transition onto water as we hook up a couple of these Caribbean islands, which is quite exciting. Quite exciting. And then we'll figure out our next game plan and what we're going to do to kind of connect more cities up as well. But it's, it's working, guys. The train system's working, but we do need to transition to eventually planes, boats. We'll start with some boats next episode. So if you're hyped for that, smash the like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So... Yeah.